So let's take uh, some examples and how to figure out the value of uh, the missing side. So here, let me take, uh, okay. Here the ratio of similarity of the given two triangles. I see that, uh, I see that there are two triangles. How come two triangles? Okay. So let me take, uh, this is, uh, Hmm. Let me take, uh, yeah, so this is one triangle, the small one, and the other one is uh, the big one, <laughs> that's the other triangle, so this is uh, the other one, so let me label them as uh, like the small one is uh, A, B, C and the large one is uh, A, D, E. Okay. So, as I mentioned earlier, if you are taking the triangles, you can take uh, one of the sides of the small triangle or the large triangle. Uh, large triangle or small triangle it makes no difference. Uh, but the given ratio is that uh, 5 over 13. So 5 is the smaller one, therefore the small triangle should be the numerator and the denominator is larger than the numerator. Therefore, uh, it's higher than the numerator. Therefore, the, it should be the side of the large triangle. Now, the small triangle, I see that uh, x is given the value of b is uh, not known and the corresponding side is uh, 26 corresponding side is 26. Now how to find the value of x means uh, as I mentioned before I prefer to take the class multiplication method the class multiplication method. So when I go for class multiplication then it is uh, 13 times x equals to 5 times 26. Now you know how to eliminate uh, 13. We go for the inverse operation. 13 is multiplying with x, so the inverse operation is division. So 13 over 13. So if I divide by 13 on both the sides, uh, I get uh, 13 ones are 13 twos, or else uh, use calculator, you'll end up with the value of x equals to 10. The value of x equals 10. Let's see some more examples. In this one, the ratio is not given. So you can take, as I told you before, uh, maybe one of the sides of the, I mean, the numerator has uh, either large triangle or small triangle, it makes no difference. So here I'm taking, uh, uh, say, large triangle, large triangle, and next uh, denominator as small triangle. So the large triangle, I see that here, one of the sides is uh, 12 and the corresponding side of the small triangle, it is 9. So 12 over 9 equals to the other side, the large triangle. And because I'm taking uh, the numerator as a large triangle side and the denominator is uh, the corresponding side. Now, how to figure out the missing value? It's simple, as I told you before, you go for class multiplication, you go for class multiplication. Therefore, 12 times 10 equals to 9 times x. You know, some of you might be having why we are doing this class multiplication, class multiplication. So, for example, in order to eliminate uh, 10 here, okay? So 10 is dividing, if I want to isolate x, the inverse operation is uh, times 10 on both the sides, times 10 on both the sides. Therefore, the value of x equals to, the value of x equals to 10 times 12 over 9, right? Now, let's see here in our, the actual calculation, then how to eliminate, and, 
9 to for the isolating x we take the inverse operation that is division by 9 on both the sides okay so division by 9 now do you see that uh, we ended up with the same calculation 12 over 9 times 10 and i see that 12 over 9 times 10 it's one and same so you go for class multiplication or you follow the traditional way you'll end up with the same so 12 times 10 over 9 so i'm taking my calculator so it is uh, 12 times 10 divided by 9 that gives me it's a close so that gives me 13 point 13 point 3 3 that's the value of x so let's take uh, one more example uh, this time okay so this time again uh, let me take uh, the small triangle oh this is uh, this is my small triangle and similar this is having the same shape as uh, the big triangle or the large triangle just I'm giving a color code that makes uh, a job easier okay uh, this this seems to be a little tricky hmm. so I'm taking the ratio of small triangle I mean to say that one of the sides and the large triangle so small triangle side is X over the corresponding is 15 and the other side it is 6 over 12 friends this is going to be wrong this is the tricky part when you look at the diagram it seems like it is 6 over 12 but it is not because uh, 6 is uh, that is the length of the one of the sides I agree but when it comes to the side of the large triangle it is 6 and 12 together so this is the tricky part so please you have to be careful so small triangle is 6 and uh, when it comes to the side of the large triangle it is uh, 6 and 12 together that makes uh, 18 that makes 18 therefore it is uh, x over 15 equals to 6 over 18 now you know how to isolate uh, how to isolate uh, the value of x uh, you may take uh, uh, times 15 that is uh, opposite of division is uh, multiplication so 15 so here i'm not using uh, the class multiplication method if you want you can use the class multiplication method still you'll end up with the same result so uh, use calculator three six uh, three fives uh, six ones uh, hmm. so the value of x is five if you are not sure then you may plug in these values and you can check it uh, which is x over 15 is same as uh, 6 over 18 this is what we thought in the beginning now in the place of x uh, if you plug in the value of 5 so 5 over 15 and 6 over 18 let's see are they in the same ratio or not i can divide by 6 i can divide by 5 here so 5 once 5 for the numerator 5 3 is 15 and here 6 ones are 6 6 threes are 18 so the sides are in the same ratio as we discussed uh, in the beginning if the figures are similar the sides are proportional well now this time let's talk about how we can prove that to two triangles are similar in congruence you learned you know congruence means if two objects are having the same shape and same size then they are said to be congruent and here if two uh, uh, figures are having the same shape but maybe of different size we call them as uh, similar here 
I see that uh, triangle ABC one letter is missing here. So it's ABC and DF. Let's see whether these two triangles are similar or not. So far, you learned how to compute uh, the proportion. I mean, whether the sides uh, in the same ratio or not. Let me take uh, AB and the corresponding side of AB is DE, right? So I'm taking AB over DE. That gives me AB is 6 and uh, DE is 3. So here I'm taking a large triangle or maybe first triangle, uh, the sides of a first triangle or maybe the large triangle either. And the denominator I'm taking sides of a small triangle. Then let's see. So let me take uh, the other side. Like if I'm taking BC, BC, that is uh, this one and the corresponding side is uh, EF. So BC over EF, BC is 8 units and EF is uh, 4 units. Now let's take the third side of uh, my large triangle which is uh, AC and the corresponding side is uh, DF. So AC is here 4 units and DF is 2 units. Now can I divide? So let me express all these uh, fractions in their lowest terms. I can divide both numerator and denominator by 3. I can divide both numerator and denominator by 4 here. I can divide by 2, the last one. So let's take the first one. 6 divided by 3, 3 twos. 3 divided by 3, that's 1. That's the ratio of uh, uh, AB over DE. Next, BC over EF. Four div 8 divided by 4, 4 divided by 4. So this is, hmm. then 4 divided by 2 here, that gives me 2. 2 divided by 2, that gives me 1 here. So if you observe carefully, we see that all these sides are in the same ratio, all these sides are in the same ratio, which means AB over DE equals to BC over EF and AC over DF. So we call this one as a SSS similarity, SSS similarity. So uh, in congruence, you know that if two triangles are having like uh, three sides of the first triangle are uh, congruent to three sides of the second triangle, then they are congruent by SSS congruency. But when it comes to similarity, three sides of uh, oh, for first triangle, those sides are uh, in the same proportion with the other triangle, then we say that they are similar. Which means uh, all the three sides of these two triangles and the same ratio, then we say that by SSS similarity, these two are similar. So here the uh, triangle ABC is uh, similar to triangle DEF. You have to be careful while writing the order. This is the symbol of a similarity. This is the symbol of a similarity. Okay, let's take uh, the next postulate that is uh, SAS. If two triangles are given, uh, so this time SAS uh, similarity. Just like uh, SA's congruency, SA's similarity is slightly different. Uh, so here I'm taking triangle ABC, triangle ABC and triangle DEF. In these two triangles, I'm taking two sides, two sides which is uh, AC over DF, AC or DF 
and a b over d e so let me plug in those values a c is uh, 6 units here d f is 2 units uh, and next a b is uh, 9 you can see here and the corresponding value is 3 so 6 over 2 that gives me I can divide by 2 I can divide by 2 therefore that gives me 3 over 1 both are divisible by 3 so 9 over 3 3 divided by 3 so this, so here these two uh, sides are in the same ratio and I see that uh, this angle A is equal to angle D therefore I see that uh, two sides are in the same ratio that is AC over DF is same as AB over DE and uh, angle A equals to angle D therefore here two sides and the included angle please remember the angle that lies in between the given two sides therefore I say that by SAA similarity these two triangles are similar now let's take uh, uh, another postulate which is uh, double A similarity or triple A similarity you know I see that here um, angle C angle F these two angles are equal angle A angle D they are equal and angle B equals to angle E therefore three angles of uh, one triangle are equal to three angles of another triangle then these two triangles are similar by AAA you know uh, if two angles are equal obviously third angle also will be equal therefore we need not take all the three angles even two angles are congruent that's uh, fair enough uh, to say that the given two triangles are similar so let's take the next point prove that these two triangles are similar I see that uh, in triangle ABC here I see that two triangles one is uh, triangle ABC and triangle ADE okay so I see that uh, angle C equals to angle E you know BC is given parallel to BC is parallel to ED how come these arrows are showing me that these arrows are indicating that these two lines are parallel so I can say that angle C equals to angle E because uh, corresponding angles are equal corresponding angles are equal in the same way angle B equals to angle B equals to angle D the reason is once again the same corresponding angles are equal corresponding angles so angle equals to angle angle equals to angle in fact if two angles are equal that is fair enough because uh, we know that sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 for example let's say that angle C is 60 degrees angle E is also 60 degrees okay and angle B say just some number I'm taking say 40 degrees and angle D is also 40 degrees then what is the third angle means all of us know that sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 therefore it makes 100 then obviously the third angle is 80 degrees in the same way the third angle is 80 degrees so when you are taking two triangles if you prove that two angles are equal obviously the third angle will be equal to the third angle so even two angles are equal then we can say that uh, by a similarity the given two triangles are con similar i'm sorry not congruent so triangle abc similar to please follow the same order if i take a followed by b then i have to take a followed by angle D I mean 
for D. So ADE. These two triangles are similar. So more questions here. You are asked to check whether these two triangles are similar. If so, by SSS, SAS, AA, whatever it may be. So I see that here, all the three sides of one triangle, I'm sorry, both the triangles are given. So 12 here, 9 here, and 15. So let me take AB, and the corresponding side is DE, AB over DE, that gives me 9 over 3. And next, BC, corresponding side is EF. So BC, corresponding side is EF. And AC, corresponding side is DF. AC, corresponding side is DF. Now let me plug in the numbers. I see that BC is 15 units. EF is 5 units. AC 12 units, DF is 4 units. So take uh, your calculator and do the calculation. 9 over 3, that gives me 3. 15 over 5, 3. 12 over 4, that is 3. So I see that these all are equal. So let me write backwards. So all the three sides are in the same ratio. Therefore, triangle ABC is similar to triangle DF. Now it's your turn to practice uh, some more questions.